Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, this is your reading for the month of December and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Taurus, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person, Taurus. Okay, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what is, what is the overall energy for the month of December. What are the love messages for you for the month of December? What are the messages around your career, your finances, your money for the month of December? Then I'm going to pull out some oracle cards and we'll see what is the advice from the higher powers and universe for you. And then, of course, we'll see what someone special, someone significant is thinking about you or who is thinking about you and what they are thinking. Okay. But this is something we are going to do at the fag end. So make sure you watch the video till the end. So, Taurus, what is your overall energy for the month of December? We have two of swords. Okay. Then, what are the messages around your love life? We have four of cups. Then we have hanged man. Then we have a uh, page of swords and we have six of wands. Okay. What are the messages around your money? We have knight of swords. Then we have the fool. Okay. The wheel of fortune. And we have ace of cups. Nice. Okay. What are the messages from the universe and higher powers for you what are the messages from the universe and higher powers for you what are the messages from the universe and higher powers for you so many cards probably i'll take up these ones ah door to romance a woman holding a heart nice and then of course at the fag end we'll see what someone is thinking about you there is, there is a person in your life what they are thinking about you okay we'll talk about this person at the fag end mm. you may be dealing with Pisces, you may be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius I'm hearing Gemini, Libra uh, Leo if the sign pops up all the better let's not remain fixed on the sign so Taurus, this is your spread. Okay. Right? So what is your overall theme for the month of December? We have two of swords. Okay. You'll find yourself trying to make better decisions for yourself. Okay, so when I say better decisions, what do I mean over here is that uh, before making any kind of decision, first and foremost, you won't make decisions in a haste. Uh, you're going to take your time. Second, I see that you will be making informed decisions. So you're going to collect information about it. Do, you're going to do some research, whatever decision it can be. Okay, you're going to, you will try to understand what are you feeling from inside about a certain decision this decision can be like literally this is the overall theme any decision that you make in the month of december you're going to make informed decisions okay you're going to take your time you're going to make uh you're, you will try to make better decisions okay you're going to take your time you're going to not make the decisions in haste you're going to collect information about it you're going to feel you're going to see how you're feeling from inside before making any kind of decision how are you feeling about it Okay, so you're going to take all the things into consideration and then take a decision. So which is a very good approach is what I'll say. Okay. Uh, I also see that uh, 
for some of you it's you're trying to be more cautious about decision making maybe for some of you there will be a need to make decisions about certain critical issues certain important and significant issues okay so you are trying to weigh the pros and the cons and then you will go ahead and make a decision about certain things so the energy is is you are trying to make better decisions for yourself in the month of december okay and you will do everything possible uh, to take a better decision you will you will take into consideration every single thing uh, that is required to make a better decision okay now as far as your love messages are concerned we have four of cups and we have hanged man we have page of swords and we have six of wands hmm I feel like the month of December is going to be the defining month for you from perspective of your love life if at all you were finding yourself thinking about the past if at all you were finding yourself a bit cribbing and uh feeling a bit low about your past okay say for example with the four of cups you probably are you may you might be thinking like oh I'm single and I don't have anyone in my life whereas my friends my colleagues my my brothers my sisters my siblings everyone they are having someone in their life and uh, I'm single so maybe it's not that it's not that uh, you being single is bothering was bothering you but probably the fact that someone hurt you in the past someone did wrong to you in the past and the second fact that probably everyone around you is dating some other other person was making you sort of uh, unhappy about your love life okay so i feel like you are trying to take a different perspective like what is the reason why i am feeling sad i see lot of self introspection in the month of december okay like i told you uh, you are going to make better decisions in the month of december so this energy is getting integrated in your love life as well uh so what i see is like there is a, a different perspective that you will be taking towards your love life like i am feeling sad because someone hurt me okay so they hurt me so they were wrong okay and i i should have stopped them or probably i did not make if enough efforts to stop them now going ahead i've learned my lessons going ahead i'll stop people at the right time i'll show boundaries at the right time so you have learned your lessons you are okay with that secondly if other people around you are dating then and other people are you are single you're trying to heal yourself from something so th there is nothing wrong in that okay so what i see is like there is a shift in the perspective that is happening for you as far as your love life is concerned okay so i there is a shift in the energy as well feeling sad then making some efforts and shifting the perspective okay and then trying to feel good about yourself okay uh i'm 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 reading it more symbolically rather than getting into the core meaning of the card okay so we can see the person sitting over here we can see the person sitting over here feeling sad then there is a change of perspective card which is hanged man and then this person is standing he is like okay let not uh, let's not sit and let's not crib about whatever has happened in the past uh, let me get up take control of my own life and then the final card is about a victory card right so you are taking your life your love life in your control okay you are not allowing external factors to impact you is what i'm getting in the month of december okay you are like why if anyone else is dating in their life that should not impact me okay if i am single so far that should not pull me down because i was single and i was trying to heal uh, from a hurtful past so there is nothing wrong in that okay so you are realizing that you are absolutely heading a perfect life there is nothing wrong in that there is there is no need to feel sad about the fact that you are single or that you haven't found anyone so far okay the whatever time you had spent while you were single was not wasted you did something what you did was you were healing yourself from a hurtful past right and uh, with the six of wands i see that uh, you are going to feel in fact the change of perspective is going to help you heal to come out of that uh 
that cocoon that you had formed around you uh, probably you were you had isolated yourself for a real long time probably you were a uh, sort of uh, uh, you, know, you you were in isolation you were healing yourself but now i see that you are going to step out of that out, out of that world the, the cocoon that you have formed around you you will make more you will step out you will socialize more you will you will become you'll come in public more and more you what i see is like there is an energy inside you in the month of december which will sort of push you to become more socially active so when i say socially active what does it mean it it will differ from person to person doesn't mean like instantly you're going to uh, if you are single for so long if you ha if you had isolated yourself for so long doesn't mean that instantly you're going to hang out with friends for some of you yeah that might be the case you may simply pick up the phone you may call up your friends like hey what's up what are you doing and etc etc okay so for some of you i see that uh, you are going to uh, hang out with your friends for some of you i see that you'll make sure that every alternate day you're going to go and sit in starbucks and have a coffee or any other nearby uh, uh cafe shop and like you will just go out you want to feel the open air and you want to start you want to feel the essence of socialization you want to feel the essence of stepping out and being a part of public domain all over again okay and somehow you are in a wise a sort of directing you your in a wise a sort of guiding you to do all those things okay for some of you you may go on a travel okay for some of you you may uh, be like okay uh, let me go in a diner and and enjoy a good meal over there for some of you you will go alone on a movie date okay you never know you're you're stepping out of your home with a with a uh, with a hope that you are going to meet someone okay you know that sitting at home uh, like you probably will not find uh, the poss the probability of finding someone if you step out is more for some of you i also see that you're going to increase you're going to become more proactive on your dating sites okay so the cocoon that you had formed around you you're going to break that cocoon in the month of december okay and you are going to attract people let me tell you that your efforts will be paid will be paid okay now let's talk about your money uh let's talk about your uh your career your finances we have knight of swords we have fool we have wheel of fortune and we have ace of cups so uh hmm your financial position is changing for sure with the wheel of fortune okay uh if you were facing financial issues that is going to change uh for some of you i see that you are attracting a lot of financial prosperity towards you you probably are doing a lot of manifestations around financial prosperity with a fool with a fool card i feel that there is a possibility that you may start an alternative source of income and you're going to feel absolutely happy about it managing that alternative source of income is going to make you absolutely absolutely happy something that is close to your heart okay where working you won't feel like you are working okay so you're going to do something that will make you feel real good about whatever you're doing and the kind of progress that you're going to experience in your career domain in your work in your business in your job is is going to get accelerated uh a lot in the month of december okay i i see you are going to be in a overall happy and a satisfactory situation in the month of december as far as your career and your progress is concerned uh work related travel may happen okay for some of you if you are in partnership you may decide to part ways with your partner business partner okay 
that is because you may simply think that you are doing better and whatever profits the existing project is getting that is getting solely because of your efforts rather than what your partner is putting okay and the reward that you are getting is not equivalent at all so i see that for some of you you are parting ways with your existing partner i also see that you will give a thought that going ahead i better start something on my own rather than partnering up with anyone okay so i see that there is also a possibility that you're going to find someone through work or at work with the ace of cups okay there is a possibility that you're going to find the love of your life at work or through work some of you are planning to go back to studies i guess if you were not getting the visa for the same then that visa is getting approved is what i is what i can see okay now let's talk about the uh, messages from higher powers we have do to romance so opportunities related to love life are coming your way so i told you right you are making some efforts and your efforts are getting rewarded okay so i would suggest make more efforts or a for socialization become more proactive on dating sites uh, do more to step out do whatever you, whatever is possible for you go for a walk or a jog in the garden regularly hit the gym or like go and visit the diners or the cafes whatever hang out with your friends attend as many events as you can weddings if you're getting invited to get togethers and concerts okay do as much as is possible from your end because what i see is like your efforts are getting rewarded then we have is a woman holding a heart yes you're going to let people know you're going to let world know the the message over here is the more you let the world know that you're open to love and relationships the more opportunities will come towards you okay so it's like literally she's showing the heart right so it's like my heart is available for love that's that is how it is coming across okay so now as far as the messages okay who is thinking about you and what they are thinking about you so when i say who this can be literally anyone this can be a past romantic partner a current one or someone that you have on your mind this can be literally anyone this can also be a friend a work colleague a sibling a parent okay now let's see what they are thinking about you there is someone who is thinking about you and let's see what they are thinking about you there is someone who is thinking about you what they are thinking about you taurus you never let me feel lonely uh huh probably this is also a pet of yours <laughs> for some of you you have a pet you respect my family you respect my family you never give up on me wow for some of you this is your ex okay or can be a sibling a brother a sister a mother you are wise and witty some of them like your sense of humor people think that you are a wise soul okay you make me feel secure you make me feel secure and the last one now huh? you make me feel alive you make me feel alive all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you 
what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care of yourself and have a great time ahead taurus bye bye